I'm here with Joe Rotella, and Joe, crafting adventures await us. You have brought a super cute tote bag, and it's a great idea because you can upcycle a tote, a t-shirt, a dish towel, even a soft fuzzy blanket. And it's all with heat transfer vinyl or HTV. So I've got vinyl laid out on a mat scan. Yes! And I chose a pattern that's built into the electronic cutting machine. And if you could just rearrange that last piece to line up with the vinyl. I will do that for you right here. And while I'm doing that, do you mind telling people a little bit about what heat transfer vinyl is? So heat transfer vinyl has a clear carrier sheet on the top and then the vinyl underneath. So the carrier sheet is what's actually sticky and that helps us place it on the fabric. So when we cut through it, what we want to make sure that we do, whether we're using an electronic cutter or scissors, is there's three layers, right? The clear transfer sheet, the color that you see, and then the heat activated adhesive. And we only want to cut through the heat activated adhesive and the color, which is why when you look at the mat, everything looks like it's not pretty side up, but Absolutely. sort of the unattractive side up. And we're up. doing a kiss cut. We're just cutting that top layer. Right, exactly. Just through two of the layers. So I have my heat press. It's all warmed up. Okay. And a little trick here. I want to know where the center of this tote bag is mm -hmm. so that I can try to line things up in the center. I'm just going to give it a very quick press to give me a center line so I can see when I'm placing the vinyl. And for people who don't know what a heat press is, do you mind telling us? It's a panini machine for crafting. <laughs> I like that. That explains exactly what it does, right? It heats from the bottom and the top at the same time. So, and I've got it set here. You want to choose the temperature based on the what the manufacturer says for that particular HTV. Oh, so there's different temperatures. So it's not like an iron where you just sort of do whatever. No, The heat no, press no. is more of a precision kind of tool. And you know, if you don't have a heat press, you can use an iron to apply okay. HTV. But I think a heat press, That's some what I of the do iron, at home. well, some of the irons may not get hot enough. Okay. And they don't apply that pressure the way this does. So we're going to start with the blue piece. And when I you do know. HTV, you can layer. And really, there's no limit. But I, I think at some point, you know, if you have 20 layers, it's going to get kind of clunky. Well, I also want to point out that what I'm doing is I'm doing weeding, which is the same thing as when you go into your garden and you're pulling away the parts that you don't want. And because at first it looks like you haven't cut through everything, but it's that whole thing that we were talking about where actually what you're doing is you're only cutting through the color and the adhesive. You're not cutting through that clear sheet. So now when I pull these two sails off of this sticky mat, what you'll see is that the clear transfer sheet is still there. And this is what is going to allow you, right, to place it exactly where it needs Absolutely. to go. Because the distance between those sails is exactly what it needs to be for that boat. And you can see here that the transfer sheet's clear, so I really can see exactly where I'm lining things up. So and I'm layering. This red is overlapping the blue, and that's okay. Well, I was going to say, can you put all the pieces down at once, or are you doing this one by one because I'm so slow at weeding? Ooh. Answer that on TV. <laughs> you can certainly do them on top. Now, yeah. we're going to use a glitter vinyl. That's a different temperature and a different time, so I can't layer so you, that. So you can put this green stripe on, for instance, at I the could. same time as the red. What we have to be careful of is we have to make sure here, in this case, where the green needs to go, there's already a piece of clear transfer. So oh, they would, we'd so be applying it to the transfer. So that's why you couldn't put the blue and the red on at the same time, because you have to get the transfer film out of there. Absolutely. I get it. So now I'm just weeding the last piece, and you're using the heat press. Now, I noticed that you're putting, um, is it a Teflon sheet? It's a Teflon sheet so that the transfer sheet doesn't stick to the hot Because it's plastic. Same as with your iron, right? It's like a pressing sheet, but it's like a heat conductive pressing sheet. And this is sheet. called a warm peel because you're peeling it off while it's warm. I was going to say, whenever I have my iron at home, I'm flapping it around to try so to get it. I'm going to go ahead and apply this. Now, I cut out a word that we can add to the bottom that's glitter as well. Okay, so I'm putting a piece of heat transfer vinyl now on here to cut out the word, but my question is, because this is on backwards and the word is on forwards, do I need to reverse the text? Reverse it or mirror image. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that for you now. I honestly wish someone would come and craft with me like this because then I wouldn't have to do any of the work. I did notice so I'm nice. doing the hard part. <laughs> 
<laughs> I like crafting with a friend. I enjoy, you know, the talking, the questions. Do you want to do this? Do you know what size you want this show? Is it okay at whatever size um, or should I make it different? A little less than two inches tall. How's a little that? less than two inches tall. I'm just going to leave it exactly where it is. So then I'm going to just scan in my material so I can place that cut for you. I will remember to reverse it. I promise I will be a good crafting partner and, and do, do that. that. I'm cranking up the t temperature here to 325 and the time to 15 seconds. And that's because you're using the glitter. Glitter vinyl has to be a little hotter. So I'm just thinking through. So that means like if you had holographic or foil or printable vinyl or any of that stuff, it's all gonna be different temperatures. The other thing to keep in mind here is that when you're using glitter vinyl especially, it has to be the top layer. You can't layer flat vinyl on top of glitter. You can layer as much flat as you'd like and glitter on top of flat, but glitter always has to be the top layer. Why is that? It doesn't really adhere well anything else on top of the glitter layer. The glitter just doesn't hold it as well. So that, glitter's always on top. That is a pro tip, my friend. There you and go. you know, anyway, glitter should always be the last layer <laughs> because why would you want to ever cover the glitter up when you really think about it, right? Now you did tell me one really fun thing about the cute little t-shirt that's there that has the drawing on it, which is I assumed you had somehow transferred the drawing onto there, but that's not how that t-shirt was made. No, so the wording is glitter vinyl, but then the outline of the little girl is black vinyl, which was then all just clear in the middle, just fabric. And then Chloe used fabric markers to color it in. That's so sweet. And I it's such it's a nice idea. way, right, to yeah. get a drawing on and give somebody basically a coloring book. But on a t-shirt, it could be on a tote bag, it could be something for the home, something they could hang up in their room. Absolutely. Would be really nice. I actually, so at my house, we always do like a big thing about um, place cards. And I've made fabric place cards and all sorts of stuff, and that would be a fun way to do it. Okay, so I've done this backwards, I hope. So I think it's correct. And I'm gonna use a hook tool to make sure that I get all of like the insides of the letters out. I don't know about when you weed, but I really like to make sure that I do the insides first so I don't forget about them. Well, and if you've ever weeded stencil vinyl, yeah. you know, it sticks to itself, and I think that's harder to weed than HTV, because HTV, the vinyl's not sticky at all. It's the transfer sheet, and look how you can it's really like tug at it. It's like magic, it just sort of pulls away, you know, and then you can always go back with your hook just to get any little bits and parts like that. But here you go, boom, it's and adventure. You, know, you do always want to hold it up and make sure you got it all. So oh, we're I didn't, missing. We're I missing didn't get it all. Okay, there you go. I knew I could do a good job for you, Joe. So we can go ahead and put this on right okay. there. And then of course you want to put, and now I notice you are putting both pieces of the glitter on because they're not touching in any way. And they're the so same temperature, matter. so we're gonna be fine. So we're gonna put this up on the heat press. Into our panini machine. Into our panini machine. And this takes 15 seconds. Okay, and the thing that I like is that there's a timer so you and I can go do something else or think about something else and you don't have to actually like sit there with your watch. Lunch now that we're talking about paninis. Right? I think, I think we should have paninis for lunch. That sounds like a good idea to me. So here we go. And again, this is warm peel so we can take those transfer sheets off right while it's warm. And that's warm. really important because if you have a cold peel vinyl, then you do need to wait until it is very cool and now, Joe, we have matching, matching tote bags. bags. Let's, Let's go, go out. I know. Let's do it.